Well, four rounds of matches in the book and Gamba Osaka is still to register a first J-League win of the campaign. Might today be the day that Danny Poyatas' side claim their maiden 2023 success as they entertain Consadoli Sapporo. Welcome along to the Panasonic Stadium Suita, north of Osaka city centre, for an intriguing clash between two clubs aiming to kickstart their campaigns. For Gamba Osaka, a much-needed first league win of the season is obviously the ambition. Two defeats and two draws for the 2014 Japanese champions have left them in the relegation zone after four fixtures and staring at another battle to avoid the drop. Last season, a similar start to their campaign meant they embarked on a year-long struggle to stay in the top division, one which they achieved, but only by winning two of their last three matches. Another close call is not exactly what the club wanted as they hoped for a more prosperous season. For Conta, one league success in their first four outings of the new campaign has also thrown up more questions than answers as to whether they are equipped to challenge for silverware this term. Their first win of 2023 came last time out when they defeated Yokohama F Malinos 2-0 at home, but they know they will have to find some consistency if they are to continue on an upward trajectory. Gamma made big changes in the winter, ushering Patrick to Kyoto Sanka after he led the team in scoring over the last three seasons. And Danny Piotta has been brought in to oversee a possession-based approach to the black and blue side of Osaka, for whom the top priority will be figuring out how to get results at home. Despite fervent support in the stands, the Nerazzurri managed just four wins in front of their own fans in 2022 compared to five away. That has to change. It took eight weeks for Conta to notch their first win last season as draws reigned supreme in the early part of the campaign, but they were a consistent team throughout as they finished 10th. If they are to build on that, they have to sharpen up at the back, though. They conceded 55 goals last term, the second most in the top division in Japan. Kansa supporter are unbeaten in three against Gamba Osaka, a run that includes a spectacular 5-1 success here in October 2021 when the home side was simply overrun. And you have to go back to three years for Gamba's last home success over Kansa, a 2-1 come from behind win that came courtesy of Patrick's second half winner. Last season, Kansa won 1-0 at home after 0-0 draw in Osaka. One suspects the visitors would happily settle for another four-point haul across the season from the side that they face this afternoon. Despite their poor start to the season, it's interesting that two of Gamba Osaka's players have been called up to the Japanese national team squad for two upcoming friendly internationals. More on that in just a second. Let's check out the teams for you. Ryutu Yamamoto makes his first start of the season for Gamba. The 21-year-old attacking midfielder has been used as a substitute this term but makes the opening 11 against Konsa Sapporo. Nahiro Sugayama is recalled. Two changes then to the side that lost 2-1 at home to Sanfrecci Hiroshima last Last time out with Dawan Fran dropping to the bench and Takashi Asami unavailable. Man in the middle is Tom Bramall. It's a first J-League appointment for the English official. He last stood in an English championship game between Blackpool and Burnley a fortnight ago and has been the man in the middle for five Premier League games this season. This will be something very different for him. There is no doubt about that. Boys in the booth, as per Yusuke Araki, will be the man advising Tom Bramall on the pitch. Not surprisingly, Kontoruli Sapporo are unchanged, having beaten Malinos last time out. So Yushi Ogashiwa makes his 50th J-League appearance for the visitors, while for Yuki Kobayashi, it's a 50th top-flight appearance in Japan. The attacker is starting his first full season back in his homeland after spells in Europe and South Korea. Kazuki Fukai and Yoshiaki Komai remain long-term absentees for the visitors. Well, can Danny Payatas get it right? in this fixture, really has to right the ship. It's been unsteady since the start of the season, looking for that first win of the campaign. 
This man has got so much experience, of course. Mihailo Petrovic, over 700 games in charge of J-League sides. Can he steer Konstantin Sapore to back-to-back -back successes? And just on those players that have been up to the friendly internationals for Japan, defender Riku Handa and second-choice keeper Kosai Tani have been selected by Hajime Morayasu as the Samurai Blue host Uruguay at Japan National Stadium in Tokyo on March the 24th and then take on Colombia four days later at Yosoko Sakura Stadium in Osaka. Two players that have been up then. We'll see one of them today in the shape of Riku Handa playing second tier football last season. It is a meteoric rise for him. Whether he'll get a go for the national side remains to be seen, but he's in the squad and we'll see what he can do today. The onus very much on Gamper Asaka here to get things right because they've not been great so far. Two wins and two draws. They've conceded some nine goals as well. One of three teams not to have won in the J-League so far this season at Panasonic Stadium. Suita, it is Gamba Asaka versus Hokkaido Consadori Sapporo. Get ready for a start. Match week five in the J-League. We're at Panasonic Stadium Suita for Gamba Asaka versus Consadori Sapporo. Two teams desperate to banish early season blues. The host still searching for a first league win of the campaign for the visitors. Well, they won for the first time this year, last time out. So a second straight success is their aim as they look to potentially jump into the top half of the table. It will not be easy. Gambra Saka may well have not started particularly well, but certainly in front of a vociferous fan base, they will be inspired. Maybe fifth time of asking, they will get their first win of the season under Danny Poyatos, who of course came in to coach this side from the start of 2023, but has got plenty of experience, mainly with youth teams, both in Spain and in the Middle East, incidentally. He's also briefly in charge of Panathinaikos before moving to Tokushima Vortis, where he did so well. Uh, many were impressed with the style of play. Can he implement his system with Gamba Osaka? It will, of course, take a little bit of time. This is only the fifth game in the season. Let's see what the visitors can do here with Fukumori to drive inside the area, and it's scrambled outside of that six-yard box, and the referee does intervene. Pack penalty area, and the decision goes Gamba Osaka's way. Just a little nervous inside the opening 90 seconds or so. Here is Masaki Higashiguchi, who's a veteran keeper, brought back into the starting lineup recently. It's only a second start of the campaign. Did play in the League Cup fixture against Kyoto Sangra as well, a 3-1 away success. They have managed to win a League Cup game. Group stages are underway. And a Japanese international, although he hasn't played for the national side for a couple of years, was in the World Cup squad for 2018, but not for 2022. And at 36, you suspect that his time has probably gone to get what would be a ninth cap. But he's got a fair record against Consadoli Sapporo with some six clean sheets in seven wins from 13 previous appearances against the team in white today. Suspects that their style will not change, even though they haven't won a game so far in the league this season. Their possession stats of 56%, the third highest average in the J League. So they do like to play football, they do like to try and boss possession and boss the ball. They just haven't created enough opportunities. 14 shots on target in their four games so far, only six teams fewer in their shot on target the percentage is just under 30. Not the metrics, not the stats that Danny Poyatos really wanted after four games of the campaign. Will that change? after today's fixture against Consadori Sapporo. Fukumori was
was free on this near side, a touch for Daiki Suga. Challenge coming in on Yuki Kobayashi. Who made his name at uh, Jubilee Iwata before moving to European football, had a spell in the Eredivisie with Hen and Vane, also played in Belgium with Bevenant before moving to Seoul and Gangwon. Another former Japanese international. That's good movement over on the right-hand side, but the block in the corner. Well, second opportunity from a flat kick here from Consadoli Sapporo. Another side that does play possession-based football, over 50% possession so far in their four games as an average, six in the J-League so far. And pressure on Higashi Gucci's goal for the second time in the opening five minutes. Swinger this time around, three and one inside the six yard box, plenty of movement as well, and the header down is good. And the shot finds the corner. Terrific hit from Kobayashi. Well, he had time to measure the strike, and it's Consadoli Sapporo that lead, and it's the away fans that will celebrate. Well, the movement was good, wasn't it, inside the penalty area, and Yuki Kobayashi. Just got away from his marker. Look at the way that he gets to the pitch of this and just fires it beyond Higashaki Gucci. Perfectly placed. And Consadoli Sapporo have an early lead and it's more misery here for Gambor Osaka. Did he take a slight deflection, I wonder, off Neta Lavi? Difficult to see from that angle. He won't care, it was certainly goal bound anyway. And a second of the campaign, having scored against Yokohama F. Mananos last time out. Kobayashi has got his second of the season. Winter signing from Vissel Kobe, where he was a bit part player after coming back to Japan midway through last campaign. Starting a J-League season for the first time since 2016. And he's making his presence felt. This is only a second start, incidentally. He was a substitute for the first three games of the season. Then he started the fixture against Yokohama F. Marinos and scored. No real surprise then. Mihailo Petrovic uh, kept him in. And he's rewarded his coach here with his second goal of the season. Two in two for Kobayashi. Well, two quick fire corners. The second of which causing panic in that Gamba Asaka back line, and they've conceded yet again. Well, they lost the last game to Sanfrecci Hiroshima, going down 2 1. Having lost their previous league game 4 0 to Vissel Kobe. They drew their first two games of the season to Kashiwa and Sagan. Well, the flag hasn't gone up just yet. And it's been cleverly left here by Suzuki. So play continues. And the referee allows it to. That was clever from Mushaishi Suzuki. It is Rico Handa. Better from Lavi. He would have just been caught napping for the goal. This is Miura. Well, a notable change in style, even though we're only eight minutes into this fixture from Konsa Sapporo. They've just stepped back a little after scoring the first goal of the game. That's a free kick to the visitors. Too much in it, but just a bit of a pullback, I think, from Keisuke Kurakawa. Well, they 
fallen behind in three of the previous four games this season, Gamba Osaka. And they've lost two, drawn one, so only picked up a point from losing positions so far this season. Last campaign, incidentally, they had a shocking record when conceding the first goal of the game. They did so on 13 occasions. They only came back to uh, draw on three occasions, didn't win any. No come from behind successes for Gamba last term. They lost 10 of those 13. They are a side that didn't really show the resilience and the fight back that the fans really demanded and wanted. And certainly at home, they were poor. Just one win in their last 10 in front of their own supporters. Five draws in that sequence, four defeats. Their last win came last season against Jubilat Awata, a 2-0 home success. Only point this season at home came against Sakan Tosu, a 1-1 draw. Failed to win any of their first four in all competitions last season. It was a stumbling start to the campaign, and it's been exactly the same in 2023 and rather worryingly for them though they might be able to get away here through Kurokawa that's a clever touch Suzuki looks to try and lay it off well, the shot from Alano was blocked it is Kurokawa again Kurokawa to curl in towards Suzuki thumped away neatly done by Daiki Suga scored more than one only once in their last 10 at home if they've got any designs on winning this fixture they'll have to do that of course it is Yamamoto and now Higashi Gucci only a second start as we mentioned for Higashi Gucci has been beaten already in goal so yet to post a clean sheet this season. 18-19 last term, his save percentage was a very healthy 78.4, but it slipped to 75 in just the one appearance prior to today, and it will slip even further after failing to keep out the shot from Yuki Kobayashi. Akansa Sapporo. Looking to go back to back after that win over Yokohama F. Marinos last time out. They've drawn all three of their away games this season in all competitions. They drew 0 0 with Sanfrecci, 2 2 with Albert X, and also drew with Sagan in the League Cup this season, a 0 0 draw. They've drawn five of their last six. They're unbeaten in seven away from home. And they have got a good plan, certainly when going in front, they are very, very hard to break down. And I suspect that they won't show the same type of ambition that we saw in the opening five minutes or so. But there's a long way to go in this fixture, so we'll see. So far this season, when taking the lead, they've won one and drawn one of the two fixtures in which they've managed to score first. And their last defeat when leading was a 2-1 home defeat at the hands of Avispa back in October of last year. Certainly weren't watertight last season when they went in front. They scored the first goal of the game 16 times in 34 games. Well, the flag has stayed down here and play continues. It's one of those ones that when eventually the flag does go up, you do wonder about it those 16 games last season they only went on to win eight of them definitely offside that should have been an easy one for the official on the far side five draws at three defeats incidentally so not straightforward when they notched first last term but maybe this season they will prove a little better potentially manage the game a little better here is Suzuki. And now, Higashi Gucci. Confidently chested down by Akitu Fukamori, ever present so far this season. Got the best of records against uh, Gamba Osaka on the winning side just four times previously in 13 attempts with some six defeats 
But a veteran performer now at the back for Consa Sapporo. This is his 271st appearance for them in the league since 2015. Been a mainstay at the back for the visitors. Alano gives it away. Okamura. Well fed in towards you, Asano. Good header back by Fukumori. Here he is again. We can certainly sense the confidence growing here from Constadoli Sapporo with the win last time out and the good start here. Kobayashi goes down, claiming that he's been fouled three times there, but although it's a free kick, it's no card given. Okamura. Corner by Kaneko. You can see there's good movement over on that right hand side as well. And three inside the penalty area. Oh my word. It nearly fell to Kobayashi again. And it was Sagashiguchi that just did enough to turn that one behind. Not quite sure if this was curling in. Might have been, you know, it was. That's a really good stop. Higashiguchi with the save. Would have been an own goal. Curled in by Takuro Kaniko, who scored against Vissel Kobe in the 3-1 home defeat back in February. Further pressure on the Gambara Osaka back line here. Outswinger this time from Fukamori. Once the referee has just intervened for a second here, just reminding everyone of their responsibilities. Not quite sure how good uh, Tom Bramwell's Japanese is. Fukamori to take. Whipped in towards the back post. Picked up by Miyazawa. Kobayashi lurks as well. Here is Kobayashi. That's a clever touch. Still three weights inside the penalty area. Kobayashi. And again. Is there a way through? Not there. Tanaka was offering support. And that's going to be a gamble ball, I think. Well, Kobayashi thinks it should be a visiting throw. So did I. In fact, the referee has intervened. Konsa Sapporo take the throw. Kaneko will get another go over on that right-hand side. Takuri Kaneko, who scored in that 5-1-1 here back in October 2021. Solitary goal that he scored against Gamba Osaka. has been talked about an awful lot always get behind their side there's always plenty that turn out as well but um, they've not had too much to cheer about really in terms of cheering wins it's been desperate stuff for them so far this season and last but they're still menting and making plenty of noise at the moment average attendance of just over 22,000 so far uh, this season the capacity is just under 40 Should therefore continue like this, it will be no surprise to see those numbers dwindle a little. Miura. Milano takes it on his chest, it's thumped away by Tanaka. Alano again. was good. Kamurasaka looked to try and spread play to this right-hand side. It was a nice idea, just unable to work the ball towards Nahiro Sugiyama. Miura. Here is Sugiyama. Suzuki. Sugiyama, I think, was fouled after the ball had gone. Second start of the season, but recall for this fixture. He was playing for Raso last season.
Well, the referee has blown there. You just wonder if he should have allowed play to continue because Yuya Fukuda was in a really good position. I don't think he would have got to the ball, but you never know. Free kick nonetheless. They challenge from Daiki Suga. work to do here for Consadori Sapporo. Yamamoto sizing this one up, well it's not too far out, 30 yards or so, maybe dinked inside the penalty area, it's towards goal but it's wide. Too much bend on that one, I think it was always starting just to the right of the post as we were watching. Yet to score so far this season, only made two substitute appearances last term, having signed from Tokyo Verde in the summer. Hasn't scored for over two years. Only three goals in 104 appearances for the Capital Club. Fukumori to clear. One back immediately though. Really good sliding challenge from Yamamoto. Here is Sugiyama. It's another free kick. Just building a little bit of pressure on that concert back line. Different angle. Maybe a better opportunity here to try and find a teammate rather than go for goal. Yamamoto is going to take again. Suzuki waits. Six to aim at, just inside the penalty area. Curled in, but not in a way. Komura with the defensive header, it's gone all the way back to Masaki Higashiguchi. And Higashiguchi punts it long. Fukumori underneath it. Alano takes it down. This is Handa. The Japanese squad for the upcoming friendlies, as we mentioned previously. His career in the Second tier, first season in the top flight, but even though he hasn't tasted success in the J League just yet, he's been called up. A number of young players have been called into the training camp and the squad for the upcoming games against Uruguay and Colombia. It'll be interesting to see if any of them are used. Higashi Kuchi. This is Kaneko, back for Gu Sung Young. Korean who's uh, back in the J League after completing his military service. Missed the first game of the season, but he's been in since then, just a one clean sheet. Not quite as good as he was in his previous spell with Konsa. response that he would have hoped for having seen his side go a goal down inside the opening six minutes but as you can see they've just about had more of the ball but in terms of efforts at goal and on target concert just about outstripping the hosts in terms of numbers and not that much goal activity and that will please Mihailo Petrovic because his side lead to be a bit of a knee in the back, didn't it? And Juya Fukuda is still down, trainer required. Apologies offered. Shunta Tanaka, the uh, perpetrator. Thankfully, Fukuda is OK to continue all his career with Gambaro Saka, 80th appearance in the league for them. And did score in the 
J-League Cup win over Kyoto Sanga. The only success so far this season for Danny Poyatas' his side. FC Tokyo and Sarazo Osaka also in their group, incidentally. Went out at the group stages last season, Gamba Osaka behind Kashima and Sarazo, ahead of Fuita Trinita. He's just one point above the relegation zone with just nine wins last term. Should be cleared away on the uh, Jubilee Iwata, the bottom play side lost more than Gamba Osaka. They won two of their last three and unbeaten in the last four to climb outside of the relegation zone very late on. Knocked out of the Emperor's Cup in the fourth round by Kashima Atlas. Better response for them though. Hander manages to win it back. This is Suzuki. Kurakawa. Back towards Yamamoto. Cleared away by Kaneko. Good running from Asano. Yokoshima unable to make it his. 50th appearance for them. Just 10 goals. Having come through the Youth Academy. of play just slowed a little after a fairly frantic opening 10-15 minutes or so here. Rasaka find themselves a goal down. Yuki Kobayashi, his second of the season, having netted in the win over Yokohama F. Mananos last time out. It's gone two for two. Perfectly placed effort into the corner that saw Masaki. Higashiguchi throw himself across to his right but was unable to keep it out, a little unsighted as well. Suggest that Conte Sapporo have controlled the game since then, but it's not as if Gu Sung Yeon has had too much to do in the Consadori Sapporo goal. The Korean stopper has been fairly comfortable so far. Higashi Gucci goes long. That'll drop for Alano. Time to get his head up here, and there's options left and right. Here is Musashi Suzuki. Juan Alano again. Tries to play it back towards Suzuki, but unable to do so. Milano and Neta Lavi trade passes. Lavi, who was signed from Maccabi Haifa, ahead of the Japanese season getting underway. An Israeli international who played against Cyprus in the friendlies just ahead of the World Cup finals and uh, who played in the Champions League this season, incidentally, including that incredible 2 0 success over Juventus. They didn't manage to nick third place in the group, so didn't make it through to the Europa League. Of course, Juventus did. Found their way through to the quarter finals earlier this week as well in European play. Okamura. Gusung Young. Miyazawa. That's good defensive work and one back immediately. Yamamoto will play it forward. That's a little wild. That's a free kick. Good decision from the referee. And then brought down again. Riko Handa. Miura. Forward by Fukuda. Miura again. Suzuki. He needs to get into the game a little more, doesn't he? Because he has got experience. Did score against Sagan Tosu in the 1 1 home draw back in February. Just the one goal last season after moving back to Japanese football from Bearshot in Belgium. Never the most regular and prolific scorer, but nonetheless a player who can lead the line well. And a former Consorole Sapporo player, of course, had his best season really in uh, J League football when he netted 18 for the side that he plays against today in just 37 appearances. Sano is towards the back post, it's cleared away by Riku Handa. And now Sugiyama. It's a little short, it's been won back. Here's the goal scorer, Kobayashi. Ogashiwa. 
Kobayashi again. Just seems to have got more appetite for forward play in those advanced areas. Consadori Sapura, just that little bit of confidence that the first win of the season gave them last time out. And it's what's lacking with Gambara Saka. They're a little tentative in advanced areas. Forward by Arano. This is Takura Kaneka. Looks to go again from Kobayashi's ball. Has he got the pace to get there? Oh, he's done well. Hasn't kept possession, but has kept the Gambara Saka backline fairly honest. And that's good pressure here from the visitors. Kobayashi again. Asano waits, edge of the penalty area. Touch from Arano. That bounces all the way through towards Higashi Gucci. He's had a good start to the season, playing over on that right hand side, Takura Kaneke. It's ostensibly a, a right wing back possession, but he's almost like a right winger most of the time. fans doing their bit but the players in black and blue not quite inspired from the noise from the stands muted display so far cleared away by Fukumori touch forward towards Suzuki and referee gets involved here just a late challenge In fact, was the flag up on this near side? It must have been coming back from an offside position. Okamura eventually takes the free kick short for Takumi Arama. And now Okamura again. Here is Arano. Movement between the players is uh, something you don't see in many leagues. This is Fukumori popping up on the left-hand side. Now it's with Arano once again. Movement from Kobayashi. And it's those runs from deep that are causing Gambara Saka one or two problems. Suzuki does well, three on three if they can move it quickly here. Movement over on the left-hand side. It's provided by Fukuda. Back towards Suzuki, Fukuda again. Well, momentum of the move lost a little and possession's been lost and suddenly it's Konza that can break here. Opportunity for Gawisha, taken. Poor play. Ball given away. Nishio broke forward, and although Higashiguchi got something on it, it was not enough. They left it to each other, and Suyoshi Ogashiwa broke free. I think that Higashiguchi might have got his fingertips to it, but it doesn't matter. Ogashiwa with the finish, and Concert Sapporo have to. Second goal of the campaign, and just like Kobayashi, Ogashiwa gets his second, having scored against Marinos last time out. Oh, the score lining is damning here for Gambar Osaka, but it's typical of their start to the season. Here is. Ogashiwa again. Just twenty four, Suyoshi Ogashiwa. Only a couple of goals last season. It's his 50th appearance for Consadole Sapporo. 
it's an 11th goal for a young striker, very much moving in the right direction. Well, how do Gambo Osaka come back from this? Two down, 34 minutes on the clock. Fukamori header. Suzuki will pick up the loose ball. This is Alano. Fakuda gave the ball away for the second goal of the game. Miura. Handa. Layoff for Rico Handa is good. Sugiyama to go in towards Suzuki. Sugiyama again. He's done well to make space, and then he's given the ball away. It's all a little sloppy. Oh, a grimace on the sidelines from Danny Poyatos. Spaniard who was involved with the academy at Espanyol before coaching in the Middle East. Suzuki, and that's just going to run through to Gu Songyon. His assistant to Jordi Cruyff at Maccabi Tel Aviv in Israel, coached the Real Madrid youth teams as well at under-19 level. For a short spell in Greek football with Panathinaikos. Trusted with trying to get Gamba Osaka back towards the top, but the horror start to the season continues, and unless something dramatic happens in the next 55 minutes, Osaka will go up from five from the start of the season. been able to play their football in the opposition half that's been the problem and sloppy at the back Kanta have taken their opportunities Kanta Osaka haven't really made any Gucci. That's just their own downfall for the second goal. Certainly, they've been a little unlucky in games previously. Their expected goal against number 6.27 have actually conceded nine. Might have expected a little bit of uh, regression to the mean, but it's not going to be today, having conceded two already. The flick is clever. This is Alano. Thought about the shot. Still might be able to pull the trigger. Takes another touch and goes towards the corner flag. Fed back by Yamamoto. Suzuki. Lavi, Alano. Neta Lavi again. Sugiyama takes it down. He's got Handa in space. Still Sugiyama. Alano, Handa, Sugiyama. Better from Gamba Osaka this.
Miyazawa. Well, for Konsa Sapporo, this is going to be an opportunity to try and soak up the pressure and just hit Gamba Osaka on the break here because they're in control in terms of the scoreline. They lead by two goals to nil, six minutes to go until half-time. It's been an efficient and professional display from them so far. Kobayashi, scorer of the first this afternoon. Asano waits edge of the penalty area. Okashiwa, likewise. This is Keneko. Back heel doesn't quite come off. Suzuki's presence enough to prevent that. It's going to be a throw in here to Gamba Osaka. Opposing figure 29. International. I don't think he's going to get another go unless he can really turn on the afterburners late in his career. Nine caps, the last coming in 2020. Down. Chested down by Okamura. Kaneko. Just a little narrow at the moment, potentially. That's a Sapporo. This is Daiki Suga. Arano. Suga. Kashiwa wins it back and will punt it all the way to Gu Sung Yun. Just two defeats in the last 13 in all competitions for Consolo de Sapporo. Finished last season with two wins and they were unbeaten in three. They've won six of the last 13. Only three defeats in the last 17. in their last game and now in the last two in all competitions having conceded five the previous two she won again needs to go inside the fullback on that occasion Suga force wide and loses possession the change here for the visitors interesting one obviously an injury Yuya Asano is the player that's coming off On Mihailo Petrovic. And Sia Baba is coming on. He's featured in every single game so far this season. Japanese under 20 international. Signed from Tokyo Verdi in the winter ahead of this season. Tough half-time team talk for Danny Poyata. See him his side trail by two. Consa Sopporo have been the better team. Gamma haven't really come to the party just yet. Got another injury, I think, here, haven't we? Follow through, it might have been. Just a little awkward. Here's our the player coming through the uh, Gamba midfielder. It's Yamamoto that's just back up on his feet now. A little bit of concern from Danny Poyatos, but happy to see his man back up on his feet. This is 
Newcastle keep on the ball and suddenly there's a counter on here. And to work the ball just that little bit quicker. We go for Kuda. And those touch back. And this time Kurokawa can't keep it in play. stoppages but uh, we've had two restarts four goals and obviously the sub as well so we potentially might have a couple of minutes of added on time here at the end of a first half and Consadoli Sapporo supporters will be absolutely loving their side lead by two goals to nil two minutes of added on time here we've got a free kick for Gamba Osaka Rihitu Yamamoto has been in the wars in the last few minutes has just been caught again Busy on the left-hand side, Yuya Fukuda, but it was his mistake that led to the second goal. Fukuda with a throw. Suzuki chests it down. Alano has it now. Space for Netalavi, but it doesn't come to the Israeli. He's gone back here for Sapporo to defend a little higher up and for Gamba to try and build from the back. Long for Fukuda, cleared away by Kaneko. Alano, he's not composed and comfortable on the ball, but he's not really been able to affect play in those advanced areas. Far too easy for Consorori Sapporo. That's nice movement, though. Fukuda is away over on the left-hand side. Suzuki is calling for it. He's come a little deeper. Sugiyama, but didn't quite get hold of that one, I'd fancy. He's gone back inside the six-yard area. Alano will tee it up. Oh, it's a good hit as well, isn't it, from Netalavi, but always rising. Cross it, trying to keep it down, but was always leaning back, and it was a meter over the crossbar. That is half time. And Gamba Osaka supporters not happy. Their side trail. Kobayashi with his second of the season, Suyoshi Ogashiwa with his second of the season, both on the score sheet against Marinos in Sapporo's 2 0 success last time out. And here, their side lead by two goals to nil after 45. And Gamba Osaka will have to be an awful lot better if they're going to get anything out of this game and, in fact, win for the first time in the league this season. They've been second best in most areas. And it's Consadoli Sapporo that have the advantage at the break. Half time here, Gambra Saka nil, Consa Sapporo two.
Well, it's the Gamba Osaka players that are first to the pitch. Welcome back. Second half underway in the next minute or so, I would imagine here. Consolo de Sapporo lead by two goals to nil. This lot haven't given up any hope because they are such a well-supported side and these supporters always give the backing to the team. But they've been shorn of things to really celebrate about. What I would say is that both of the goals that they've scored this season at home have been in the second half. Musashi Suzuki netted against Sakantosu in the 1-1 home draw on match day two here. And uh, Takashi Osami in the second half in the 2-1 home defeat to Sanfrecci Hiroshima on match day four. But he will be hoping that they get more than just the one in the second half because otherwise it will be another defeat and it will be another opportunity missed here for Gamba Osaka. They need to be better, they need to be... That's careless at the back. Second goal was a real error. First, well, it was a good strike from a corner that wasn't cleared. Maybe Higashiguchi could have done a little better, but he was probably unsighted and he did nestle into the corner. Didn't really have too much chance with the second goal, did he? But collectively, they have to be better, as well as those individuals that we know have got quality. They have to step up as well from a Consa Sapporo point of view. Well, they're in control. Gusun Young hasn't had too many saves to make. And the back line has been disciplined in terms of shape. And up top, this man, Yuki Kobayashi, provided the first. And this young man, the second, Suyoshi Ugashiwa. And they will hope to hit Gamba on the break once again. The visiting fans are enjoying their time in Osaka. See what the second half brings. Underway then for the second period here at the Panasonic Stadium Suita. Gamba Osaka nil. Hokkaido Consadori Sapporo two. Visitors looking to go back to back, having beaten Malinos last time out. Big win, huge confidence booster as well. Certainly after a nil nil draw in the League Cup. If they can get back to back wins for the first time this season, they potentially could rise to the top half of the table. Nothing is a given just yet, though. Big 45 minutes of football still to come. This is Ogashiwa. Kobayashi inside the penalty area. Petrovic, championed by those supporters, good player of his day, of course, and a terrific coach in Japanese football. And over 200 games in charge of Consolori Sapporo since January of 2018. Early corner, which Akito Fukamori gets ready to take in swinger and they've been dangerous from flag kicks as well so far. Osaka players looking to mark their men. It's very much man-to-man -man marking. Curled in and the header is flicked over. Got first drop, first run. Tanaka unable to keep it down. Delivery has been good from both flanks so far. 57 shots entering the weekend, third most. Only 16 shots on target. They've been not quite as efficient as they perhaps should be. They have given up opportunities to the opposition. 16 saves from the two keepers that they've used. That's uh, second most behind Sagan Tosu. How many white shirts there are around the ball in the defensive third of Gambor Osaka? Maybe just been a little timid so far this season. 13 tackles won, but it's fewer. Sometimes that depends on how much time you spend on the ball, obviously, and they do like to dominate possession, but still a figure I would imagine that Dani Payatas would like to see rise. 
ball towards Arano. Takoro Kaneko to take the throw in. Tanaka's made a move. Back towards Kaneko. Oh, that looks a little late. Referee's let it go. Player didn't complain. Miyazawa. Just trying to work the opening on the angle of the box here, but Kambarasaka managed to clear. Nearly fell towards Juan Alano. That was unlucky. Juan Alano, a Brazilian who came through at Internacional, had a spell at Conatiba before moving to the J League with uh, Kashima Antlers. Gorokawa. Again, some hesitancy at the back with Igawa. Higashi Gucci. For Fukuda. First time we've seen him get so far forward on that left hand side. Scored in the League Cup 3 1 win over Kyoto Sanga. Two last season in limited appearances. Only started three games. Got, uh, Sapporo looking to extend their unbeaten run to four against Gambo Osaka. at home. Just a one draw in nine between these two. Alano. Miura. This is Lavi. And again. We're five minutes into this second half, we haven't seen too much different. From the first period, Nana goes down. Konsa Soporo win it back. It is Kobayashi. Flip towards Kaneko, but it's easily intercepted. Kurakawa did well initially. Played further forwards here. Hanza takes a touch. Suzuki wants it back. Alano still has it here. For Kudu left hand side. It's still Alano running out of options and going in the wrong direction. Needs a bit of help. Miuri. to wait inside the penalty area here it's towards Suzuki and Fukuda and Suzuki will take it down and it's saved on the line just well the referee is going to give a free kick here to Consorori Sapporo they want to take it quickly not seen that chance again I thought Suzuki was going to leave it initially really good play from Yuya Fukuda to nod it down and in the end, it was Gu sung -yon that just pushed it away from his goal before it was cleared in front of him. Because uh, Sapporo won it back. Kaneko, this is Okoshiwa. at the other end, that's a really good challenge sliding in to deny the score of the second goal today. kick Akito Fukamori once again to take in swinger left footed plenty of movement far post here and it comes it's flicked away back in by the substitute Baba came on of course late in the first half for Yuya Asano
Kobayashi. Ends up on the deck. Fakuda with possession shows good strength. Oh, he's just kept in play. That's good work from Tanaka. This is Baba. Okashiwa. Oh, look to take it first time. It was the right idea. Didn't get the connection. Unlucky. Is the game just opening up a little bit here? Oh, one back by Kaneko. He's denied by Netelavi. Certainly, Consadora Sapporo are pushing for a third. That would surely rubber stamp the win. Well, because of that, potentially gaps at the back for Gamba Osaka to exploit. Suzuki's on the move through the centre. Nano looks to try and turn and keep possession for Gamba, but he can't do so. This is Tanaka. Ogashiwa. Kobayashi. Edge of the penalty area. Ogashiwa. It's over here. Kept in play, though, by Daiki Suga. Not seen him get forward on that left-hand side too much so far in this fixture. Tanaka. Suga. Free kick. Well, this is uh, shooting distance. Angle a little against Consa Sapporo. Dawan is coming on. The Brazilian in the ranks of uh, Gamba Osaka. Looks like we're going to see Hideki Ishigi as well. The 28 year old about to enter the fray. while Gamba are defend, uh, defending this free kick, it would appear. <laughs> Fukumori to take the free kick. As well, it's cleared away only as far as Kaneko. It's on his left side, looks to curl one, just unable to wrap the left boot around that one. Enough changes should be made now. So Dawa Fran is coming on, and it's the end of Rito Yamamoto and Yuya Fukuda. I thought started this second half really well. Here's the player to come off as Dawan and Hideki Ishiki. Come on, Ishiki, who hasn't played in the league since August of last year. Struggled with injury, came back as a late substitute in the 3-1 League Cup win over Koto Sanga and scored. Former Shimizu Aspulse player. Ogashi. Ogashiwa might get another go here. It's a determined play. Genta Miura. Still, Konsa Sapporo look fairly comfortable, don't they? We've seen glimpses of better play from Gambara Saka, but by and large, most of the play has been in the Gambara Saka half, and it's been the pressures of Consadoli Sapporo's attack line that have tried to win it back half the pitch and try to cause the mistakes at the back, and they've nearly managed to get in on a number of occasions. Changes make any sort of difference for Gamba Osaka with Dawan Frank coming on. Did score against Kashiwa Reisol in the 2 2 away draw. Did also score in that League Cup fixture as well. So, two players that have been amongst the goals in that League Cup win over Kyoto. Both on.
Miyazawa. Kurakawa makes the interception, plays it back towards Higashikuchi. Still looking to play out from the back. It is the way that Danny Payotas wants his team to play, but sometimes I'd like to think that given the game state, they might go a bit direct, but that's a neat looking ball. And Ishigi is inside the area. What an introduction. The substitute scores and Gamba Asaka are back in this. It's a perfectly timed run and they worked it really well from the back. Some wonderful one and two touch play here. And as the ball forward inside the full back, Ishigi. All he had to do was pick his place. Well, first league appearance since August and a first league goal for quite some time. First league goal for Gamba Osaka. Rare goal scorer for former club Shimizu Espulse. Manages to score in the top division for the first time since 2018. That's a big goal as well. well. The home support have responded as well. A breakaway goal. They're continuing to play their football. I suggested that they might want to go a little bit more direct. Nothing of it. They're sticking to what the coach wants. And it's work there. Back they come, good movement from Kurakawa, good looking ball in, there might be another here, there is! Alano makes it 2-2, what a turnaround! Gonzalo Sapporo caught with too many players in advanced areas. And a simple task in the end for the Brazilian from close range to get his first of the season. Breakaway was good once more. Kurakawa on the left-hand side. Play back towards Alano. And from two down to two-two in the blink of an eye. Well taken as well, the boots were flying in. Juan Alano stays composed. And two goals in two and a half minutes have put Gamba Osaka within touching distance of maybe winning this one. It can rest easier on the sidelines. Still a long way to go in this fixture. Come Consa Sapporo. Tanaka. He's again. Suzuki on the charge, looking to use his strength here, and he's done well. Referee saw nothing wrong with that. That's a neat touch. Fast feed from Sugiyama, not quite quick enough to get away from a clutch of Sapporo players. But they don't look as defensively disciplined as they did in the first half now. They need to slow it down and play to their pace. Miyazawa, free kick. Talavi not happy with the decision. And the smile has been wiped off Kobayashi's face. He 
Saints team ramping it in the first 45, but this second half has seen a complete turnaround. This lot have been stunned a little bit. Not quite as enthused and energetic support from the visiting fans. Well, this man's delivery has always been good. Akito Fukumori to Curly once again. Fukumori waits. Clever towards Kaneko. Can he get the cross in? It's a little weak to the near post. It was a nice idea, but the execution just wasn't there. Higashiguchi plays it out. Gamera Saka from the back once more. Forward by Ishiki. Suzuki. Dawan wasn't on the same wavelength. Have to give a lot of credit to Danny Payatas. The changes that he's made have really come good. Tanaka. Miyazawa. Tanaka again. And suddenly there's a press and there's pressure on the ball from those in black and blue. Okashiwa. Oh, now then, after the ball had gone, that was a little late and it might be a yellow card here. There is apologies from Rico Handa, but this could be a caution for the young defender. That is late, isn't it? He tries to pull out, doesn't go with the studs, but I think that's a fair caution. The referee's been excellent. Tom Brawl, his first J-League outing. Rico Handa goes into the book. Free kick for Consorori Sapporo. Two to the good at one stage. Now 2-2. Two -two. Komori's free kick is easily charged down. Alano, scorer of the second goal, intercepts. There could be another three-on-two situation here. This is Suzuki wriggling free on this near side. Attempt at getting the cross and he's blocked. He's determined to try and keep it down at the right end as far as the Gamba fans are concerned. Second period been a really good second half as well. Alano has won it back. Suzuki wants it. Alano still has it. Low ball in towards Dawan. And just skidded behind by Fukumori. Safety first. Are well, these supporters going to see a first league win of the season for Gabor Osaka? They are in the ascendancy at the moment. Dawan Fran, the substitute. Able to convert there, but a corner keeps the pressure on that Consoroli Sapporo back line. Outswing a low to the near post, the trajectory too low. Cleared away. Okashiwa. Just to this near side, but it's not going to get to the target. That's easy for Dawan to nod back. Akito Fukumori 
was the player galloping forward on the right-hand side. He's now got to get back into defensive position. Just a little congested once more, that middle third. Kobayashi. Free kick. coming off, he's been on pretty much every corner and free kick for Consoloni Sapporo. This afternoon over. Two changes in fact here. Nakashima and Nakamura both coming on. And uh, Miyazawa, the other player to come off. has been used exclusively as a substitute this season. We're going to see Riatora Moschino as well. And Swan Alano, scorer of the leveller, is going to come off. So changes for both teams here. Riatora Moschino has got a couple of goals uh, last season. Once on the books of Manchester City, make the grade there. Spells at Hearts in Scotland, Rio Ave and Estoril, Estoril in Portugal. Never a regular. Nakamura and Nakashima both on for Consadori Sapporo. Nakashima, like uh, Nakamura, only used as a sub so far this season. Did win with a couple of goals last term from off the bench, so can be impactful. forward towards the substitute, but uh, well defended. Point potentially enough to uh, take Canberra outside of the bottom two. Depends on results elsewhere, of course. Only Yokohama FC without a win, as well as Gamba. All this trouble here. Well, he's gone with his wrong foot, hasn't he? Shunta Tanaka should have gone with the left. He's almost moved around it to go with the right. Just the one goal last season against Shannon Belmar in a 5-1 away win. Only four in 104. This is his fourth season with uh, Conta. a little, haven't they, after conceding two. Okashiwa, he's done well. Kaneko gets to the byline. Yeah. Just to stand one up. It's a good hit and it's blocked. It was Kobayashi with a strike. So many players inside that six-yard box. Always going to be difficult to find a way through. He did do exactly that in the first half, though, as we saw. out there, but there's no doubt that Constantori Sapporo are imposing their game once again on Gamba Osaka, who having got that second goal, just sat back a little. remaining here. What did Gamba have to do to try and get the win? Still going to play on the counter. Still going to look to build from the back.
finish is, of course, before the uh, international break. So he'll be back in action. That's the majority on the 1st of April. He's outside of his area, needs a bit of help. Nakamura. It's a good look at Rom, but he just couldn't find Nakashima. Suzuki's layoff. Now he plays it in field. So who are at home to Kawasaki Frontali once the action resumes. A couple of Sakura away at Shannon Belmar. Machina runs into trouble. Kurakawa. This is Egawa. Miura. Back by Dawan. Miura again, Igawa again. Just over 15 minutes remaining, Consolori Sapporo win it back, but not for long. Suzuki goes down, throw into the hosts. or is there more to come from his teammates that remain on the pitch? Lavi loses possession, then wins it back. And that's a clever ball as well, as Miura comes forward. He wants it as well, it's curled to the edge of the area. The best, though, Dawan was making the run from deep. Cleared away by Nakamura towards Okishiwa. Kawa. Ishino. Let's not be hoping for one more home goal. Since that will be another opportunity, it's just whether they take it. Kurakawa. Has taken one in the face, might need a, a beat before he resumes. It will be a corner to Gamba Osaka. Home fans still believe as they jump to the beat. I hope that Gamba Osaka can hit the right notes in the final 14 minutes and grab a third. It's in the ribs rather than the face, but it should be okay to continue. Just a little winded. Real disappointment for him. Mihailo Petrovic would have thought 2 0 at half time. That has to be enough. Just manage the game from here on in, and it will be a second win of the season. Potentially a place in the top half of the table, but the way that Gambra Saka have battled back in this second half has been impressive. Corner to the home time. Going towards the back post, punched away by Gusen Young. Lavi. Back in by Machino. Kept in play by Suzuki. Flagger stayed down. Still three waiting for the delivery. Defenders have stayed up from the previous corner. Lavi. Kurakawa. Dawan. touch here he is again from Korokawa's ball still the center half's going for that was uh, a little loose
here's an opportunity to break. Space on the left-hand side for Machino. And still Machino wants to get it on his right side. It's a good block. He's still not completely away. This is Nakamura. For the first time, really. Sonora Sapporo have been forced back inside their own half. Well, that's taken a touch off a visiting player. Ishigi. It's a corner. Great atmosphere. Can those supporters will a third goal? Whipped into the near post and pushed off the line. Still not completely away. Lavi will recycle. Still plenty in black and blue inside the six yard box. It's another good block. Sodori Sapporo get away with it to a certain extent. This is Nakashima to control. Scramble previously. Just wouldn't go in. This is a shiki sliding into Baba. Wasn't the most forceful, but just about doing enough. He's gone off. And Sukachok is the player that's come on. Thai international, 30 caps to his name. Alone last season from Buriram, United of the Thai League. Regular goal scorer for his former club, yet to score for his new club, signed permanently in the winter. Sadori Sopura fairly keen to slow things down a little bit when it gets a little hectic. Gamba look more likely to grab a winner than Consa Sadori. Sadori Sopura haven't been that team in the last 10 or 15 minutes. It's been Gamba creating those goal scoring chances. Shima is unable to keep that one down. So it was backing in, but it's Consa that had possession once again. She was just unable to take the pace off that and stay on his feet. Forward by Nakamura. with it just yet. Be able to keep this one in place. Really good running. Terrific play over on the left-hand side from Superchok. Driven in low, cleared away by Ikawa. Konsa win it back. 
the chop again. Kishiwa. Paneko gets the return ball, but can't stay on his feet. It was tight to him, really difficult one to try and control. added on time here. Can I imagine we'll get too many minutes of added on time? We've not had that many stoppages really. Been a good clean fight between these two. I've had a number of alterations in the second half though, so we'll see. Still sense that maybe Gamba Osaka the most likely team to win this one late on. Desperate to get that first win on the 2023 CV, but the knife edge at the moment this one could go either way. You wouldn't say that one team or another are dominant have certainly had spells. Gamba more ruthless in front of goal when they do get chances. Towards Ogishiwa. Goals from Shigi and Alano. We've got Gamba back into this. We're going to see another card here. It's the substitute, Kamura. That's going to be carded. Just a little late. Doesn't get the ball. here for the home side. Hiroto Yamami is coming on. Also Shota Fukuoka. Kisuki Kurokawa has come off as has Nahiro Sugiyama. Change is complete then for Gamba as they look to go for a third goal. Uh, they're under pressure here. One full for Nakashima from Super Chocks Ball. Intercepted by Nakamura. That's a clever ball as well to the left hand side. Suddenly, there's options. This is Super Chock inside the area to take a touch. The tie keeps possession. As well, diminutive attacking player. That does really well. Nakamura to curl in. Only to the edge of the box, just a, a little panicky from Gamba. Cleared away by Machino. Good running on the right hand side here. Suzuki wants it through the centre. Easily dealt with. Dawan. Suzuki calling for it. Looking to play it back across the face of goal. It still might go in. This is Dawan. Still not completely cleared. Suzuki with a header, terrific save. Gu Sung Young pushes that one away. Gamba Osaka so close to a third. And still the pressure on the Sapporo penalty area. Grandstand finished to the fixture with three minutes remaining. Gamba Osaka coming forward again. Mishino, who's made a real difference. the chance Suzuki had the opportunity still might be more to come that's cleverly chested back towards Gu Sung Yun he's battled all game hasn't he Musashi Suzuki just hasn't had the luck in front of goal by Kaneko. This is Baba. Okishiwa. Superchok to turn. He's been brought down there. Free kick. Danger hit. Just gets gold side, doesn't he? The untie. Take it quickly, being pulled back here by Tom Bramble. Yeah. 
Kashima waits. Tanaka on that far side as well. Higashiguchi organizes his defenders. Towards that far post, he's going to spin beyond everybody. seconds here there will be time enough for well, both to have an opportunity I'm sure here three or four minutes may be predicted of added on time at the end of this one Nakamura clears away Sapporo on the move again Ishiwa claims he was fouled but play continues is there going to be an opening for either how many minutes will we get Shino to chase. Four is the answer. Feels about right given the changes. Suzuki. Well, the concert players argue the case, but that's gone Gamba's way. still believe uh, hoping for a late winner they battled back they looked out of it at half time two down but Ishiki and Alano cancelling out goals from Kobayashi and Ogashiwa giving Gamba still hope of a first league win of the campaign free kick here for the home team Whipped in, that's good delivery. Nakashima with the header away and the half volley. He's nowhere near the target. That was a difficult one for Hiroto Yamami. He's got a couple of goals last season. Last goal was in the Emperor's Cup. I think we know what we said to Nita back in June of last year. Baba with the header. She will play it down. Super chop towards Okashiwa again. Is there a sting in the tail for Gamba here? All curled in towards Nakashima. Led away to the edge of the area. Forced back by Tanaka to the left hand side. This is Nakamura. That's going to be a corner, I think. No goal kick. Oh. Nakamura convinced it was going to go his side's way. as cheerleader wants his side to see this one out to settle for a point but it's not been seen out just yet this is Machino been a terrific effort in this second half from Gamba Ishii oh, they lose out and now Nakashima will drive forward Lavi surrounded by white shirts free kick chance here 90 seconds remaining Gamba Osaka wants to get on with this quickly might be it as the seconds tick away. Really good contest. Played an excellent spirit. Can't split them at two apiece. One minute of the added on four remaining. Gamba Osaka with a free kick. Ishigi, he's going to curl towards the far post. It's nodded up and away. Kept in play, but driven across, and too much juice on that one. Nano's goal enough for a point, but they'll have to go on. For another fortnight, as there's no fixtures next weekend because of the international break before they get a chance to win in the league for the first time. The search goes on for that. First three points of 2023, but 
hard fought point and they'll take a lot of heart from it. It might be better. This is Ishigi. Nakamura in the way. Nakashima will break forward. He's all on his own here. It's still Nakashima. Ogishiwa calling for it. Here he is Ogishiwa. Who can he pick out? Still Ogishiwa. It's Nakashima. Oh my word, what a save. Higashiguchi right at the end sticks out a big left boot to turn this one behind for a corner if we've got time to take it. Well, that would have been some end. Nakashima doing brilliantly. Ogishiwa likewise. Just enough time to take the corner, I reckon. Can Consadori Sapporo steal it right at the end? Fair delivery to the far post, it's nodded away and that might be it. That is full time, pulsating second half. Really good game all told. Gambara Osaka still looking for a first league win of the season, but from two down to 2-2, two -two, there's plenty to take from the game. Alano's goal, the level up after Ishiki got them back in it. Gishiwa got the second after Kobayashi, the first for Consadori Sapporo, who looked in control at 45 minutes, but at the 90, I guess 2-2 two -two was about right. Mihailo Petrovic complaining about something, but ultimately, Danny Payatos and his opposite number here will probably agree that 2-2 two is about fair, given the chances that we saw. Really good game, and of course, a brilliant stop by this man, Masaki Higashiguchi, right at the end to deny Taiki Nakashima, who looked like he might have won it. Some good stops for both uh, keepers. And really, it was one of those games that I think at 2-2 is about fair. But uh, from a winning position, kind of Consadori Sapporo, maybe she would have thought that they would go on to win that. They didn't manage the game in the second half. That was the problem. And they allowed Gamba Osaka to come back in it, and they took their chances really well. They didn't have as many opportunities as the visitors. But they were certainly good in front of goal, and that was key. Really good efforts from the substitute Ishigi, who came on to score his first league goal for over four years. And Alano, who had a controlling game in midfield, he netted from close range to give Gamba that second. And at that stage, you felt Gamba Osaka might be favourites to kick on and claim the full three points, but it wasn't to be. Yuka Kobayashi's second goal of the season, and he goes over to uh, applaud the uh, visiting fans. Kashiwa took his goal really well. After a mistake at the back, they pounced. The player in the middle there, Kashima, well, he had a big opportunity late on. What I wonder is Mihailo Petrovic saying here to Tom Bramall, what the referee has done brilliantly here. There's always things to talk about after fixtures. Petrovic complaining maybe that uh, there was something untoward with one of the Gamba Osaka goals, I'm not quite so sure. Splitting hairs here, I think. Kobayashi speaking to one or two of the supporters here. He's done well. Two in two now, he'll retain his place, that's for certain for their next game. Likewise, Ogashiwa, that combination could see Konstantoli Sapporo rise over the course of this season. The visitors will certainly be hoping that is the case. Osaka, well, not quite back to the drawing board. They've performed well here, but not quite well enough to get their first win of the season. We'll be getting some reaction for you very shortly indeed from uh, this fixture, which has ended all square at two apiece. Although there's one or two smiles there from the Gamba players, they'll see it, uh, there's an opportunity missed, I'm sure given the fact that they got to 2-2 and there was still time enough and chances enough to create to get the win. Not the case, unfortunately, for Gamba Osaka. The search for that first win goes on. As for Konsa, well, just the one defeat so far this season, they are proving hard to beat. But from 2-0 up, we'll be disappointed. で、
É, infelizmente, né? São alguns jogos seguidos que a gente vem tomando gol no início da partida e, querendo ou não, prejudica um pouco. É, nosso segundo tempo foi bom, igual o jogo contra o Hiroshima. É, então a gente tem que acertar esse primeiro tempo para no segundo a gente continuar fazendo e tentar fazer o primeiro tempo que a gente vem fazendo no segundo. Só sei, né? Para qualquer surgir aí, de vinte a vinte, se tem start de começar o jogo, é muito grande. Já para de vinte a vinte, de vinte, é curto mesmo, de tempo é muito grande. Mas, claro, a Hiroshima tem uma forma de jogar diferente. Então, quando você tem uma forma de jogar diferente, você tem que ter uma forma de jogar diferente. Então, quando você tem uma forma de jogar diferente, você tem que ter uma forma de jogar diferente. 